Good morning. Actually, it's almost afternoon, but it's another beautiful day here. It's uh, beginning of September, and we are getting ready to start to harvest some of our butternuts or our white walnuts. Uh, Deb's already down here at the tree. We've got our buckets and our collecting um, baskets. I'm going to grab a pole that we can shake the branches with. We want to shake those branches and have those nuts fall to the ground. We don't want to pick the nuts up that are on the ground. Um, and we're going to start to get uh, harvesting some uh, butternuts. So this is our butternut tree. We were lucky enough to have this on the property when we purchased it. Look up in the tree, you can see some of those nuts on the tree. Early September is around the time that you want to pick the, um, the butternuts and the idea is to get them before the squirrels do. So I usually come down, I'll pull a branch that I can reach and I'm going to shake it. And if they start falling out pretty easily, then I know that it's ready to, to pick. So we're going to shake all we can and pick them up off the ground, and then we'll try and figure out how to husk them. I'm going to use to get to the higher branches is I'm going to use our pruning tool and I'm just going to hook this onto the branches. Obviously I'm not going to cut the branches off. So this will help us shake the tree and get those higher nuts down. And we can simply place it up over a branch and we can shake. It's real important is to make sure you're wearing gloves. Uh, these will get all sticky from kind of from picking up the nuts. So unless you want your hands all sticky, you definitely need to wear gloves. So the next step is we're going to put our nuts into this metal garbage pail. I'm going to use my, uh, I'm actually using my cordless drill uh, with this paint mortar stir on the end and we're going to use that um, to mix the nuts. We're going to cover them with water uh, and hopefully this will help to take the husks off the outside of the nuts. I think what's going to happen is this is actually going to end up kind of grinding uh, that outer layer off of the nuts. Um, from watching videos online of different people, they say it takes three to four minutes. I'm not so sure how long it's going to take, but we'll give it a shot. So for this, we're going to use the rainwater that we collect off of our barn here. Uh, I'm not too worried about the water being super clean uh, because this is only to get the outer husks off. Uh, the, the nuts will still be in the shell. So uh, we can use rainwater for this and uh, we're going to use the rainwater that we collect on site. And we also pump this using solar energy, so this is 100% renewable.
day and we came back up to check on the nuts. Um, they're drying nicely and I think we got a, a good amount of the outer husk off of them. I think they look great. We're going to leave them here for a couple months. Maybe by the time Thanksgiving comes around or Christmas, we'll be able to crack these open. I'll be able to use them in my holiday baking. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, so these actually look a lot better than they did yesterday. Yesterday we could actually see, you know, it looks like they weren't 100% clean. But now that they've actually dried, um, they actually look like, uh, like nice clean, yeah, nice clean nuts. So um, I'm very happy with uh, the results. It was a lot of work uh, to get them to this point. And like I said, I'm not sure if we needed to let the nuts dry a little bit before we remove the husk, but that's something we'll research. If we get some more to do, we'll try that. But uh, they actually look, uh, they look very good. Excited to crack them open. So there's nothing better than after a long day of hard work to sit down with some homemade pizza and some homemade beer. So until next time here on Sunny Side Up Farm, may all your days be Sunny Side Up. Sunny side up.